I'd like to know everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, we're a national human rights organization for such an honorable um, invitation and Ambassador Dr. Mohamed Shahid. Uh, my name is Rada, I'm Egyptian with a Palestinian origin and I'm also a media researcher, uh, youth volunteer and communication assistant at the at African Union. Um, so I really find it's it's um, it's crucial to to set here at the invitation today to to talk with at least among leaders and activists and decision makers all over the world. I think that at this time all individuals are setting their own agendas towards what we're planning to do, what we're doing to do the next year. So I think that it's crucial that all of us also include that um, the climate agenda in our agendas and even individually or work agenda organization wise and everything. Um, I, I only need to, to, to spotlight on the COVID-19 pandemic. I see that this pandemic has uh, enabled us, all of us to exercise what's called global uh, solidarity and we we have seen a lot of um, rules that been done that prove to us that everyone has rule to play so we saw doctors fighting in the forefront we saw young people innovating we creating synthesizers we saw young women standing in the gender-based violence uh, with with the activists we saw a lot of um, of practicing the solidarity and this is the concept that we needed to know so, and also looking at the, at the COVID with the climate change uh, more closely, we saw that how COVID, at the time that COVID marginalized a lot of sectors and society, uh, there were more in pandemic. Um, so also young people have invested of their innovations and efforts from Cote d'Ivoire, Norway, and, and a lot of online campaigns that happened during the, the hardest situation of the, the, the whole world passed through to exert their effort and innovate in the climate change. Um, I see it's very unfortunate that after five years of the Paris Agreement that we are still uh, our monitors are still um, uh, warm and, and the global is warmed by 1.1 degrees Celsius after 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 years of agreement instead of the rest. Uh, the clear reasons of that, that countries are yet to set emissions target and even are failing to deliver the target if they, if they did. So um, to in order to achieve the, the change we need, we, 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 we need a um, few points. First, to spotlight the countries that actually succeeded to uh, to achieve an impact in the climate change, such as Gambia, Morocco, which I see, according to the statistics, they are the only two countries that have succeeded in at least reducing the emissions of of the of the climate and the, and the temperature. But also, we have to consider ourselves the rest of the countries. For example, coming to Egypt, there is no doubt climate change uh, that would affect us. In, in various ways, the Nile, the Delta, and all of that, despite of having um, climate um, climate activists, climate change youth who are like Mohana, who are start up to to raise awareness for the climate change, but there's still a lot to do. So what I think is that we need to support each other and develop ideas by collaborating through different sectors. The best thing of our it, here today, the platform is here today that when I listen to all of the distinguished because all of us are thinking of solutions from our own point of view. All of us are um, asking for recommendations from what I can do in my field and what you can do in your field. And that's it. This is what I think that we can help each other, not only globally, but also in different sectors. So um, let me start by um, Say that, saying that we need to, as young people, as young people, we need to do two things. Actually, we need to innovate, create, but also we need to support um, the actual thing that we don't have strategies for the climate change. There are strategies, but they are they need to be done. They need an action. So what we're looking for now is an action. Um, finally, uh, the four recommendations I'd like to say is the awareness. There is a great need of the awareness because 
as much as climate issues are connected to our world, but yet people are not giving it the importance of that. They are not considering it as something crucial. That's because of people are not understanding what, what the climate change is, or what the climate issues, how can affect me individually. So for example, if we said that the impact of the climate change on poverty, if you spoke about poverty, all people like, they will talk, you will have a lot of speeches about poverty. But when you speak about climate change, not all people are interested. Uh, I'm speaking about my generation, about other people, just they're thinking that it's something extra to think of. But if we have uh, the awareness on telling people what exactly the climate change is, how, how it affected them individually, and giving example by the COVID situation, which we have seen now, we have seen now how, how the, something happened first in China, affects another countries, affects us individually. So now we have that concept. We have the concept of that something happened in a different part of the world, affects me, affects you, and affects everyone. Uh, one last thing is the education. The second thing, actually, the education. As Her Excellency, Mrs. Rosalia, said, uh, the education is the key factor. So yes, the younger generation need to understand what means the climate change. We They need to understand the goal 13 of the, uh, of the, of the global change of the, of the UN SDGs. Uh, also in the African Union, we have the theme of the year, silencing the dance. We include it in silence. the gun silencing uh, the climate change because we recognize the impact of, uh, of, of the silencing climate change on our life aspect. We need to understand you know, the diversity of energy. We need also to do grassroots initiatives and build social media campaigns uh, to reach out to different people. So my own point is that we need to create a platform where we can connect to each other uh, with, and support each other with different sectors. So for example, if we said there's a platform for people from Pakistan having an idea on the, on, on the climate change, other people can have another thing, a negative idea to transform it into this, have that. So we need to collaborate. We need to think of it globally. So we find solution globally. So at the theme of this event is we will. So yeah, we will, we win with this, with the strategy that there, with our action, with, without selfishness, we will, we will do this. So it's all about solidarity and respecting science and respecting actually our nature. Thank you so much. I thank you. Thank you very much, Rata. You are, uh...